first grade. For today's um, reading group, we have this book of the law. And it says, taken from 2 Chronicles 34. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old, after he had been king for many years. He asked men to repair the temple. The men found a book that had been lost for a long time. The book was part of the Bible. It was the part that told God's law. The high priest took the book to a scribe. I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord, he said. So here's the scribe, or the high priest, and he took it to a scribe. All right, let's read it together this time slowly. This book of the law. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old, after he had been king for many years, he asked men to repair the temple. The men found a book that had been lost for a long time. The book was part of the Bible. It was the part that told God's law. The high priest took the book to a scribe. I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord, he said. Now you push pause and read this by yourself. Ooh, take a look at this picture. I see the king, but he doesn't look very happy, does he? He's got his head down in his hand. You probably remember this story Miss Parnell told you before. The scribe read the book. Then he took the book to the king. The high priest gave me this book, he told Josiah. Then the scribe read the book to the king. When Josiah heard the words in the book, he was very sad. His people had not obeyed God's law. Josiah tore his robe to show how sad he was. We have sinned, he said. We have not obeyed this book. What will happen to us? All right, let's read it together. Read with me. The scribe read the book. Then he took the book to the king. The high priest gave me this book, he told Josiah. Then the scribe read the book to the king. When Josiah heard the words in the book, he was very sad. His people had not obeyed God's law. Josiah tore his robe to show how sad he was. We have sinned he said, we have not obeyed this book. What will happen to us? 
Okay, push pause and read this page by yourself. Now here we see the king and all the people. Wonder what's going on. Josiah's humble heart pleased God. God told Josiah that he had heard him weeping for his sin. God would not punish Josiah. Josiah sent for all the people. He told them about the lost book of the law that had been found. Then he read the book to them, every word of it. From now on, we will obey this book, Josiah said. We will keep God's law. We want to obey. All the people said, we will do what this book tells us. Okay, let's read it again together. Read with me. Josiah's humble heart pleased God. God told Josiah that he had heard him weeping for his sin. God would not punish Josiah. Josiah sent for all the people. He told them about the lost book of the law that had been found. Then he read the book to them, every word of it. From now on, we will obey this book, Josiah said. We will keep God's law. We want to obey, all the people said. We will do what this book tells us. Now push pause and read this page by yourself. Look at the bottom of this page. Do you see that? That's Hebrew. Isn't that cool? Did you know that in America we read from here to here? But guess what they do over in Israel when they read Hebrew? They start this side and read this way. Isn't that cool? They do it exactly opposite of how we do it. Okay, let's see what, what happens next. Josiah went to work right away. He rid the kingdom of all the places where sinful things went on. He crushed the idols and ground them to dust. He sent away the priests who did not love God. He got rid of all the bad things he could find. He wanted his kingdom to be a place that pleased God. Because of the lost book that was found in the temple, a king and all of his people turned to the Lord. They had found a great treasure in the word of God. All right, let's read this together slowly. Now, this time, read with me. Josiah went to work right away. He rid the kingdom of all the places where sinful things 
went on. He crushed the idols and ground them to dust. He sent away the priests who did not love God. He got rid of all the bad things he could find. He wanted his kingdom to be a place that pleased God. Because of the lost book that was found in the temple, a king and all of his people turned to the Lord. They had found a great treasure in the word of God. Now, push pause and read that part to me. All right, I'm going to read this verse to you. If you can read it, read it with me. If you'd rather not, just follow along as I read it. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Deuteronomy 6 and 5 through 6. Now, do you know something, boys and girls? I can't do this verse. I do not love the Lord all the time with my whole heart, with my whole soul, and with all my might. But do you want to know what Jesus did? Do you want to know what he did? This is in Deuteronomy. That's the Old Testament, right? Well, when Jesus came, guess what he said? I know you can't do this verse. I know that you have sin and that you can't be perfect. So you know what I'll do, boys and girls? He switched this verse. He said, and I will love you with all my heart and with all my soul, and with all my might. Isn't he wonderful? He did what you and I could not do, boys and girls. He fulfilled the law. You and I can't. We, we can't do anything like that because we're sinners, but he did it for us. All right, let's slide over to this page and see what it says. My treasure... Just read with me if you want or listen. Holy Bible, book divine. Holy Bible, book divine. Precious treasure, thou art mine. Mine to tell me whence I came. That means when did I come? Mine to teach me what I am. Now look at these two things. You know which one is the most valuable? The Bible. This cannot get you to heaven, can it? But the Bible gives us the key to heaven and how to have a wonderful life. Let's read what this says. The Bible tells me that God's word is worth more than gold. It is a treasure I need to keep in my heart. From Psalm 19 and 10 and Psalm 119 and 11. Great job today, boys and girls. I'm proud of you.